What's going on, Austin EV Only Family? Today we've got a Tesla Model S, 85. Not the D, just the two-wheel drive. We've got a bad uh, body control module, BCM, and we're gonna have to replace it and see if that clears up a lot of the issues that this customer's having. These doors aren't opening or when they're closed, it says they're still open, the front won't open. You know, kind of a lot of little gremlins going on and the service center tells him he needs a BCM. Unfortunately, that part's super expensive, so we ordered a BCM online and we're at a you know severely discounted rate because it's used and we're going to install that today one word of caution when ordering a bcm they're paired to the key so it would behoove you to order one that has a key that comes with it that's matched to that bcm otherwise you're going to be in a world of hurt trying to get a new key to pair to a bcm that's never seen the old key before okay well let's uh let's get to it Coming up. My name's Kevin. I'm the owner of Austin EV Only. If you're new to the channel, we do repairs on all models of Tesla and the Chevy Volt, Fiat 500 Electric, and the list is growing every day. If you're new here, we'd love it if you'd subscribe. It'd mean a lot to us and help others find our channel. All right, next step is to pull out the fireman's loop and disconnect the 12 volt. I went through this process of, uh, you know, taking off the trim pieces here. Then we took out the uh, the filter. Then we took off the filter casing by unscrewing it here and here. Pulled out the filter casing and that gives us access to the 12 volt battery. And um, all I really need to do is disconnect the negative. So let's do the fireman loop first, which is right here. There it is, that's disconnected. And then disconnect 12 volts. There we go, and just pull that off, and there she is. Okay, now we're gonna come in here to the corner, take out this uh, corner kick panel here, just pull it right off. Uh, let me take off some of these side pieces here. Maybe it'll make my life easier. Let me take this panel off here. It's, yeah, it's definitely hooked on something. Looks to me like there's some T20s holding this panel in. One here right next to the uh, front release. And another one right there on the other side. So let's take at least those two out. I didn't see any others. Okay, and there was a little light clip there that I took out. And then this is the uh, front release. This might not be on all models, but on this one it has a front release inside instead of outside, which is totally dumb. So I'm just gonna push on it real hard. There we go. There she goes. Got it. All right, it was one of them hook eye things where you gotta kinda angle it and then pull the cable out to the side. So you figure it out. It's not the greatest, but you get it. You see right here, that's where it was hanging up. So I don't know what this purpose of this is. It doesn't seem to attach anything, but boop, there we go. Now we can expose it. All right, now with that all out of the way, let's pull this carpet back and expose the BCM's home. Show everybody where you live in. Oh yeah, right there. That's where you live in, huh? Cool. Looks like a bunch of 10 millimeters, so I'll pop off that bracket here now. All right, looks like this sucker, and I wonder if it just pulled out. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, so we can use the old one as a guide. So if it's in like, uh, probably, you know, just this way, but upside down. So we've got plugs, you know, all across the bottom, down the side and all around the back. So I'll probably have to get my fingers in there and try to get them out. On the side. There we go. Woo, that was stuck. All right. Old one is out. Man, I can already tell this is going to be a pain in the butt to try to get all of these connections reconnected. It's such short, short, short little. Why did that get so hard? Oh, 
not have the mechanic in mind when they designed this. I'm just taking a pause to say I got all of the connectors in except for that one stupid looks like a GPS wire or something that's the the one small one on the end the one that I had such a hard time getting out now I can't get that in it's the last one and it's giving me so much trouble Ugh. oh no not this clown again okay well I can see what happened here to people that sold this is why we don't buy used shit so see this one here no there's no clip around it this one it's got a gray cover around it and that's what catches it and locks it in place this one they just broke it out they just broke it off because they didn't have the patience to disconnect it proper like so they just broke it off and sold it this is not a good unit I'm gonna see real quick if I can any way I can switch this over before I file a claim that means I gotta return this thing and start over again oh we are luck check this out you just take it you twist it let's see if I can remember which way twist it pulls right off so I'm gonna be able to transfer that over I think okay so this is a new one you can see the second I pulled it out the little piece crumbled off right there so we got to get that just get that out gently there we go and then we should be able to just pop the new one in place let's see if this works so let's see put it on twist it There it is. All right, she's on. We got the new one on. All right, let's button this up and put it back together. Nice, and that sucker just clipped right on. You can see it right there. Just went right in. And I remembered that the uh, the nubby faced the, uh, the other clip, so good. So we got it in. I'm not even gonna bother to put everything back because we need to see if this thing even works. So let's, um, let's connect the high voltage loop, the 12 volts and start and then connect a Tesla toolbox and see if we can't program this. Okay, here we go. So I haven't even done anything with the PSI yet, but I'm like, wouldn't that be crazy if I could just get this thing to go into drive? That would be super crazy. So let's say key's not inside. That's the same problem you had with the last one. Where'd that key go? Okay, I got it right here. Let's double click it and see what happens. No, it's, it's not registering it. Okay, well let me hook up the toolbox and see what we can get going here. Cool, so I got Tesla Toolbox connected. It says the first step here is to do a uh, ECU relearn, so reinstall the software, so we're doing that right now. It takes about 20 minutes. Once that's done, we'll move on to step two in the Tesla Toolbox. Okay, we ran the software reinstall. I gotta be honest, everything seems the exact same as before, so uh, let's run through the rest of these actions here. So check this shit out. So I, I think I read that you were supposed to put the key right on top of the BCM. But actually that didn't work at all. I was messing with this thing and I couldn't get it. And then I read online that if you put the key right here, touch it right there, right to where, right here under the 12 volt. And that did it, man. It says the key's in there, car comes on. I mean, yeah, whatever, Frank's open for you with passion, but oh yeah, car is running. close all the doors man this is freaking great I think I still need to run a couple of commands here in the Tesla toolbox or maybe roll down some windows so I don't lock myself out but I think we're getting close to being done okay all the doors and windows are closed oh, key not inside the vehicle okay let's touch it right here okay there we go I had to touch it exactly to that spot And it's in reverse, it's in drive. Well, it looks like the car, um, the key, I'm not able to program keys, um, but the key that it comes with is working, but it just, it has to be right on the spot. And then I'm not able to program other keys. So hopefully Tesla can work it out. But either way, I got the car unbricked, which is the major problem the biggest part so I think the customer will be happy about that and I'll just tell them like hey you know it is what it is you need to take it to Tesla to get the keys program so in conclusion cool project so glad I got to do it uh, hopefully the BCMs don't go so hard next time 
But uh, just wanted to ask before we check out, if you got something out of this video, would you please hit that like button? I mean, you've come this far, you've seen this much of the video, you might as well click that like button since you've come all this way. Uh, and furthermore, if you've come this way, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification. We're going to come out with more videos all the time helping you out, so please, do subscribe. Until next time, this is Austin EV only.